Ola had recovered from a knock collected in midweek. James Grady was left on the bench for United after recovering from illness. But by the end of this match, the talk was all about one man. Chris Boyd was about to enter an elite band of players, joining Paul Sturrock, Marco Negri and Kenny Miller. History suggests that one man's triumphs inevitably stem from another's disasters. Boyd's zenith became Lars Hitchfeld's nadir. One up for Boyd and Killy, helped by the Canadian goalkeeper. We've seen over the weeks that Danny Invincible is becoming more of an influence for Killy all the time. And from his cutback, Alan Johnson almost scored his first for his new club. A crowd of under 5,000 were at Rugby Park on Saturday. Perhaps more will come back after this result. Kilmarnock were ripping apart the United defence. Craig Dargo set up Boyd's second goal. Ian McCall, I'm sure, wouldn't have been happy with the marking. A simple tap-in, two for Killy and two for Boyd. United got back within touching distance when Alan Archibald stabbed home from close range. Still a chance of a fight back at this stage for the Tanadise side. Archibald sticking out his foot to leave Alan Combe helpless. However, within four minutes, that man Boyd had done it again. A 25-minute hat-trick for a 21-year-old whose progress has been monitored by Wolves. And he actually had to work for this one. He didn't have long to wait for number four. Invincible with space inside the area. Archibald's challenge deemed illegal and Killy awarded a penalty. Archibald claiming he won the ball, but there was contact with the player first. Boyd met the 12-yard challenge perfectly. Four goals before half-time might have been fine. This effort disallowed for a push. We've seen them given for other players at other clubs, but not this time. United by now are on a hiding to nothing, so you can understand their resurgence in the second half playing for pride if nothing else, although Billy Dodd's goal would have given them some hope. And the reaction of Dodd suggests he still had faith. No offside, a neat turn and shot from Wee Billy. The agony, though, wasn't over for United. Invincible with a determined run into the area, and history beckoned for Chris Boyd. High fives for number five. It could have been six. It was comprehensive.